Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, some exercising cautionary outdoors as highs push past 90. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Ray Brewer. sure to be packed when it reopens at one. Now, Yogi Berra once said, it's not the heat, it's the humility. And I think it's hot enough that I agree with him. It wasn't raining, but across New Hampshire, umbrellas were out in an attempt to beat the heat. Day three of the heat wave got underway with the sun beating down strongly. But before it had a chance to build, some were getting their exercise in, although with some second thoughts. Uh, normally I exercise indoors. Today's the first day outdoors. My daughter swims next door, so yeah, I'm outside today. I don't know if it was the best choice, but it's hot. While health experts advise keeping exercise to a minimum or even postponing it, for some, like the St. Anselm football team, that's not an option. The head coach says days like today really test their conditioning. I think we have to be smart and understand uh, what our what our athletes uh, can do and, and try to perform at the optimal level. The Red Cross says tips for staying cool include drink water, use sunscreen, wear light-colored clothing. The head trainer for the St. Anson Hawks says even though athletes are in better shape than the general public, the danger signs of heat exhaustion are the same. Some of the general signs that everyone sort of would, would notice, you know, guys that are, are sort of short of breath, uh, are hunched over, or are... Uh, you know, not feeling well. So the athletes are given frequent water breaks, and there are cooling stations on the field. Saroy says when someone stops sweating, that can be a sign of heat stroke, which requires emergency attention. But he also says you should start hydrating days before exercising, and some other things they have the athletes do. Uh, they avoid caffeine. Um, they're putting a little extra salt and some potassium into their body so they can retain some of that fluid. Uh, but hydration is just incredibly important. Uh, just following our own advice there. Now, if you need a place to stay cool, you can find a list of cooling stations on our website, WMUR.com. And although you've heard it before, just this reminder, never leave pets or children inside vehicles. It doesn't take long for the heat to climb inside those vehicles to fatal temperatures. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Huge water main break swamps vehicles, floods streets in Worcester. Let's take a listen to the video from WCVB Boston. And this is helicopter video of that water main break. Streets are flooded and vehicles are stranded in monkey water after a large water main broke in Worcester Tuesday afternoon. The break in 
the 14-inch water main under Portage Road at Shore Drive near Greendale Mall was discovered around 3 p.m. Crews had isolated the problem about an hour later, but cleanup and repairs will take hours more. The water main was installed in 1955, officials said. Sky 5 video shows at least two vehicles stranded in the water, including one pickup truck that sunk nose first into an apparent sinkhole. The other stranded vehicle was a silver minivan stuck in high water. Motorists are asked to avoid the area to ease traffic congestions and facility the repair work. Officials said the system will require several hours to return to normal pressure. Anyone who finds rusty water flowing from their taps is advised to delay washing laundry and using hot water taps until cold water can run clear, the city said. Man playing disc golf hit in face by stray bullet. Let's take a listen to the video from WMTW News 8 Maine. are investigating after they say a stray bullet struck a man in the face while he was playing disc golf in Turner. It happened Sunday. Authorities say a man was target shooting on his property when one of the bullets ricocheted and struck Cameron Hart, who was hundreds of feet away. Hart was taken to a Lewiston hospital where he had surgery to remove the bullet. The man who fired the gun is not being named but is cooperating with police. So far, no charges have been filed. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And now let's take a look at that U.S. stock market and see how U.S. stock market closed for this Tuesday evening. And here's a look at that U.S. stock market for all of you. Your Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the green and went up. Your NASDAQ closed in the green and went up. S&P 500 closed in the green and went up. CNBC IQ 100 closed in the green and went up. Gold closed in the green and went up. Oil closed in the green and went up. U.S. 10-year closed in the green and went up. U.S. slash USD closed in the green and went up. And VIX closed in the red and went down. S&P 500 climbs to less than... 1% from new record as Tulsa Amazon rise. Stocks rose on Tuesday as the S&P 500 moved closer to a record high set earlier this year, boosted by strong corporate earnings that offset worries around globe trade. Muller's Star Witness returns for testimony in Manafort trial. All eyes are on Rick Gates Tuesday as the government's star witness continues testifying against his former boss, Paul Manafort, and special counsel Robert Mueller's federal tax trial against the former campaign chairman for President Donald Trump. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday night, and I'll see you back here later on this evening for a news report. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for another newscast. Good night, everyone. Bye.